Hey everyone, so today is um, the 16th day in the speaking challenge and I'm going to throw in just a little bit of Chinese here. I'm uh, learning some uh, numbers from 1 to 10, so I'm going to go through and uh, copy this part of the video and then I'll get into the rest of topic topic here. E R San Chu Wu Liao Chi Ba Jiao Shu Back Shu Jiao Ba Chi Liao Wu Tsu San R E Okay. Okay, so yeah, that was numbers one through ten. So um and I just had a lesson with a student in uh, uh, Beijing, and um, she is learning Spanish. And uh, we were practicing going through numbers one through a hundred, and then from a hundred and above. And uh, and then we went back and forth. She was teaching me the numbers from one to a hundred, and then even above a hundred. So I then started using the Chinese numbers to test them on her to get her to translate into Spanish and back and forth. Uh, I tried this. Yeah. And then she told me numbers in Chinese and I tried to guess them in Spanish and then I gave her words in Chinese and then had her write them in Spanish so that uh, we could test some of the irregular spellings as well. But yeah, it was kind of fun keeping my mind a bit active there, uh, learning and also practicing with the tones there. Okay, so um, for today we're talking about like, hey, if, um, if uh, coronavirus had, had never existed, um, how would this year have kind of evolved? Um, Certainly, I would not have just had this lesson with that student because um, that's a student I met through a language school that has lots of students uh, in China and then also uh, Chinese students in the States as well. And, and they've been learning Spanish and French. So I've been working with one language school since uh, the end of March um, because they realized that they were going to have a lot of um, homeschooling uh, for the end of the end of the spring semester. Um, and then we started doing a, um, a, a summer program. And then now I'm working with them, continuing with uh, um, fall and through uh, at least till the end of Christmas. And then I'll see what happens for next year. But, but yeah, that was one thing that um, I did not anticipate at the beginning of the year of how everything would end up. Um, my teaching business has heavily expanded these last few weeks and months. Um, I'm now up to about 40 hours a week um, through working with um, my site, uh, language trip. Why isn't I talky this language school that they contacted me through Why isn't and then I've been working directly with them. Um, and uh, also maybe a, a few recommendations from another teacher um, lately. Um, so yeah, there's been about four or five sources here to for lots of hours and uh, it's just kind of the the each platform and the hours have um, 
and kind of around the world. Um, so that just kind of keeps me busy no matter what hour of the day it is. Um, uh, I mean, there's even the possibility, um, if I could get 40 hours in the afternoon, I could, I could easily also get more hours for certain students in Europe and Russia for the morning. So yeah, um, the way, the, the way the earth keeps spinning, um, there are students everywhere in the world and possibly taking lessons. And then this year they've been much more, um, open to the idea of online lessons. Uh, so that's uh, something that has been expanding for, for teaching. Otherwise, um, at the beginning of the year, I started uh, doing more exercise and I was trying to meet um, some fitness coaches and we were working together and then their uh, gym had to close. They, they've opened it up again um, I'm not quite sure how they're really doing with the social distancing and keeping everything clean, but, um, and then, um, uh, yeah, with my kids at home, uh, starting towards the end of March and we've just basically been kind of at home really for these like last seven months. It's kind of crazy, but yeah. Certainly not the way I had envisioned the start of the year. Um, I thought I was going to be doing more local programs, meeting people here, small groups. Um, so now I'm definitely much more global on various platforms to meet students. Um, but yeah. Hola a todos. Hoy es el día número 16 y estamos hablando de... Pues, ¿Qué hubiera pasado este año uh, sin, sin COVID, sin corona? Y, um, y pues al principio del año estaba pues yo con una plataforma. Me, acaban de, me acabaron de decir que estaban um, cambiando, renovando el sitio donde la gente se da cuenta, se entera de las clases conmigo y luego um, eso tardó como uno o dos meses eh, para um, uh, eh, pero este ¿qué, qué pasó? Um, eh, eso tardó y luego con no sé qué estaba pasando con las clases en, en, intentando encontrar nuevos alumnos y, y otros lugares y entonces yo empezaba a estar un poco estresado a buscar más alumnos entonces yo reactivé una cuenta en italki yo creé una nueva cuenta en wisent y eso poco a poco um, me ayudó a encontrar um, alumnos y que más um, también con mi sitio y otros programas y entonces pues últimamente las cosas están incrementando pero al principio de año estaba muy preocupado de lo que estaba pasando uh, bien antes de la, la preocupación de, de la, del COVID um, Yeah, en, 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 intentando encontrar alumnos estaba uh, un poco difícil al, al principio del año pero ahorita pues hay mucho más personas en el mundo que están tomando clases por internet y ya yeah. uh, bonjour tout le monde aujourd'hui c'est le 16e jour du défi en octobre Et là, on est en train de parler de bah, qu'est-ce qui aurait pu se passer euh, au début de l'année s'il n'y avait pas euh, euh, le COVID. Um, donc, au début de l'année, je commençais un programme de trois mois pour euh, baisser du poids et puis gagner un peu plus de, de force. Um, 
Et maintenant, ça fait sept mois que ben, j'ai un peu laissé tomber, malheureusement. Euh, donc, je crois que j'aurais continué avec le programme et l'exercice, les exercices quotidiens et, euh, la, la, et aussi euh, le samedi. Quoi d'autre? Les enfants seraient à l'école euh, toute l'année. Euh, et maintenant, ce ne serait pas du tout le homeschool avec euh, le matin, Zoom, etc. Euh, ben, au début de l'année, j'étais assez occupé euh, parce qu'il y avait un site avec qui je travaille. Euh, les heures, um, ils ont décidé de euh, renouveler la page où les gens trouvent des cours avec moi. Et ça a pris euh, presque deux mois avant que la page se lance de nouveau. Et depuis, c'était un peu lent pour... Donc, j'ai dû... Euh, me mettre sur d'autres plateformes comme Italki ou Wizen et ça a commencé à marcher encore une fois mais mais euh, voilà euh, quoi d'autre euh, maintenant oui j'ai des semaines de, de 40 heures donc il y a ça, ça me donne plus de plus de confiance de pour le travail et pour les heures um, et l'argent et aussi de par, avoir des économies uh, mais au début de l'année j'étais assez stressé à cause de ça um, et puis petit à petit ça, ça commençait um, mais oui c'était assez stressant pendant un moment um, et ouais um, peut-être j'aurais voyager aux états unis peut-être en ce moment pour le Polyglot Conference, je serai um, là-bas à Puebla pour connaître plein de gens. Et, mais ou peut-être même j'aurai euh, faire une présentation, je sais pas. Mais, um, mais bon, tout a changé. So, ouais. Voilà. Uh, hallo an alle, heute ist der um, 16. Tag in der Herausforderung. Und um, sprechen wir ein bisschen über dieses Jahr und uh, was passiert um, ohne Covid uh, und um, im Januar um, es war schwierig um, ich hab, hatte nicht so viele uh, Studenten um, und um, eine Seite uh, wollte um, eine neue Seite uh, für mich uh, und, oder um, um, Webpage uh, und um, es passiert uh, zwei Monaten und uh, ich habe nicht so viele Studenten mit S und dann äh, ich war in andere Webseite äh, versuchen neue Studenten ähm, und äh, jetzt habe ich äh, viele Studenten ähm, aber äh, äh, ich, ich möchte andere Dinge zu machen für äh, nicht immer arbeiten für äh, mehr Stunden, mehr Stunden, mehr Stunden, aber etwas, äh, ich weiß es nicht, ein kleiner Kurs oder ein kleines äh, Buch, etwas zu kaufen. Ähm, ja, das ist... Äh, das ist besser, ich denke. Danke. Uh, und, uh, und meine Kinder sind uh, in die Schule, aber jetzt sie sind uh, nach Hause für Lernen. Ja, das ist uh, alle für heute. Um, ciao a tutti. Oggi è il giorno Uh, dice se uh, parliamo un po' di 
di Covid e cosa... Uh, mh, uh, uh, non so come dire questo in italiano, ma um, eh, senza Covid um, come è il anno? Um, e penso che ci sono um, molte cose uh, differenti, ma la realtà è che lavoro molto perché um, um, nel cominciato dell'anno uh, non avevo molti studenti e, e ho des, des, decidito di um, uh, lavorare con più di uh, site um, e ora lavoro con cinque site e per questo uh, ho molti studenti um, e ci sono molti, molte ore uh, e questo è, è tutto um, e anche uh, i miei figli um, ora sono nella casa per imparare ma senza Covid um, uh, vanno alla scuola per imparare con i suoi amici o amiche uh, amici e questo, questo è tutto um, e... grazie uh, всем привет uh, сегодня uh, 16 день e is Challenger e noi parliamo un po' o a tom sta um, sto slušajte sa uh, etom gadje uh, bez uh, covid i um, duma sto psio uh, different um, potemo sta na kada ja na chao uh, no Nov, um, novi godje uh, god um, uh, u mene nije uh, bili mnoga studentov uh, i u mene je bil, uh, bil stres um, i ja dolžen um, najti uh, iskat novije studente pa internetu Uh, I ja načal robotat uh, pjat uh, sajtov i tam i si čas u menja jest uh, mnoga um, zanjet i, i tak uh, u menja jest uh, mnoga stu, studentov. Uh, Maji um, djeti, dje, djete Uh, nije idut v školu sičas, ani um, uh, bled uh, doma i tak. Um, Dume, što eto psio na Savonje i bolj šo je spasiba. I pa kao.